I think I got cut off. I don't know. It started counting down. I guess I went the hour again. See if we can get that guy back that was talking about Matarazzo. Baronia Bull, rejoin and finish your story for the Misfit Maniacs. I think uh, I surpassed the hour again. Time flies when you're shooting the shit, I guess. Be nice, Raw Rod. Hey, don't Sorry about that, man. No, no, no. All good, all good. No, I was just saying, you know, uh, Matarazzo had his story about all the, you know, you know, his heart condition and things he had going on at the end of his, you know, kind of the end of his life kind of thing, a few years after his career had finished. And, yeah, it was even, you know, just talking about different things that had happened to him. And he kind of contributed it all to the steroids. But I don't really know. I mean, I think a lot of it, like you said before, it's probably genetic-based. But, you know... There was even interviews dating back to the 90s where he was with Lee Priest and I think, like, Flex Wheeler was there. They are like a little board panel, and they are talking about how he goes, you know, uh, you just got to be careful what you put in your body and all that sort of stuff. And, I mean, man, like, you know, you just what are the plans from here for you? Like, going forward, well, you're just going to come off everything? I'm off everything. That's the thing. And test levels are low, but my prolactin's high, so I'm taking Pramiprexol, which is a Parkinson drug. To, to lower the prolactin. I think it's working. I've been doing it about two weeks. But hopefully tomorrow I'll get the results of my um, stress test and an echocardiogram and go from there. So yeah, yeah. Uh, competition days are over. The, the heavy drug use other than TRT, I don't think I have any business taking it anymore. So Yeah, yeah. So Dave Palumbo. What's yeah, that? Yeah, you going to play it by what? ear with everything, with, uh, you know, the health and stuff? Oh, yeah, take, Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Yeah. What was that about Palumbo? But, uh, Palumbo said he had the same coronary artery calcium test as me. He claims he has zero plaque, where mine's 6,700. So if that's yeah. true, he ate McDonald's. He took way more gear than me. It tells you how much genetics is involved. Yeah, well, I mean, he claims that, you know, um, you know, he was using for about, you know, 15 years there straight. So, mm. it's you know, he was living a real hardcore lifestyle. So, I mean... For his to be zero, I mean, maybe, but that, that seems yeah. a bit out of you know, I don't, Yeah, I just, I really like Palumbo. I think he tells, yeah, you know, the truth on most things, and yeah, he's very knowledgeable. But yeah, I don't know. I guess it's luck of the yeah. draw, huh? Yeah, it must be. Um, I like him too, but his what he says about cholesterol is way off. Just taking a fiber supplement isn't going to help. When you're running anti-estrogens and Winstrol and Tran, Masteron, that stuff kills your cholesterol levels. So yeah, I know yeah. for a fact. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, you know, but he was even saying, you know, Boston Lloyd getting, I mean, just not the recent video of Boston's, but in the past, even Boston Lloyd with the stuff he was taking, he claimed his blood tests were fine, every, every level was fine. So, uh, I mean, I, that, I mean, yeah. He's a, young, he's a young guy, you know, he's only 27, but still, you know, you think all that gear, I mean, I think he's start, yeah, he started a cycle when he's 18 and basically hasn't came off, so, he recommends his client on and everything, so. Yeah. You break it up yeah, on like, me, man. Yeah, so, I don't know, like, oh, sorry, no, I was just saying how, how, uh, Boston was pretty much claiming that even with his, uh, you know, with his clients, he doesn't come off at all. So he doesn't let, you know, no off time for the cycles. And he kind of runs the same protocol for himself, I think. Yeah. Well, I mean, hey, if he's checking his blood work and he's getting diagnostics and everything's good, then why not? But for me, yeah, I it's, yeah, i got to take a different plan of action, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, well, he'll, he'll, yeah definitely take that over everything else. I mean, the competing can always go on the back burner for you. Yeah. Yeah. But you had, at least, you know, your last show, first place, looked great, you know. Yeah, appreciate it. I had a good time doing it. I was ready for more, but this is going to sidetrack me. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, well, take the rest you need, and, yeah, be back at it. All right, yeah. man. Yeah, it was nice talking to you, man. Yeah, have a, All right, have man. a good night. You have a good day. Thanks. Yeah, you too. Bye.
Misha. Dave Colombo never reported on the Blackstone scandal. <laughs> Choose life, brother. Yeah, I will do. We'll get it worked out. I'll let you guys, uh, hopefully, if I find anything out tomorrow, of course, I'll inform you guys. <laughs> Bayron Diaz, how's it going? You staying on track, buddy? Aaron Zingerman. <laughs> <laughs> Keep the faith. We'll do. What's your thoughts on supplement or companies in general? What's my thoughts on supplements or companies in general? I don't know. I took a lot of supplements that supposedly would prevent the coronary artery calcium, and here I am with it, so I'm a little skeptical. Um, if you got the money for it, you know, it's their luxury items. Look at it that way. Protein, eh, you don't want to do too many shakes. I only did one pre-contest. Uh, I sold my truck, Kevin. I got a, a new Nissan Rogue. What do I think about the Epstein indictment and that scumbag creep Bill Clinton? I'm not aware of it. He is a scumbag creep, though. Are weighted pull-ups the squat of the upper body? Mm, it's a good movement, I'd say, rack deadlifts. Do you have a taco queen? Never heard of her. Where's uh, Rob Zilla? Is he still around? Does chicken shakes count as diuretics? No. How is Lenny? I don't. I haven't talked to him since he got out of the hospital, Tom. I'll have to give him a call. Yeah, was running very little back then, Anthony. Yeah, I'm gonna give Lenny a call. Find out who this friend was that passed away. John Romano claims Matarazzo took GH from cadavers and got ill. I don't know. Still planning on moving up to D.C. Yeah, eventually you got to save up some money. Rob Drown in Lake Crespa. <laughs> Tell who to go live. Poor Lenny. Yeah, he's a good – deep down, Lenny's a good guy. Where's Lenny? Somebody get a hold of him. I'll go live with him. Favorite place to eat out? Uh, nothing that's like nationwide. I, I don't know. It's local places. I like Cuban food. Did Lenny call his dad on Father's Day? I don't know. Why don't I call him to go live? Yeah, I should have. I should have told him I was going to go live. Good night, Misha. I love you. Thanks for standing by me in my despair and depression. Lenny said he called his dad on Father's Day and his dad hung up on him. Chris Pantera, guess what? I've been taking vitamin K for two or three years. And look how much calcium I have. Yeah, Lenny's a good guy. He'll help people. Your cousin Jimmy back in the late 90s. 
I don't know who that is. Favorite place to eat out, Misha's dinner. Misha's home cooked salmon and chicken, chicken soup. Love you, Mishi Poo. I'm going to come see you soon. Yeah, Chris, I took K2, niacin, thoroughly researched the supplements because I knew I'd have issues like this. So needless to say, I was shocked when I saw that I had a 6,700 calcium score. Free bird or stairway to heaven. Free bird. And I like Saturday night special. Misha, can you write something in Polish? Please? Honey boo boo boo. We had a request. Misha's my broccolini, but I but I'm actually with her. Misha broccolini. Thoughts on Jason Genova putting on lipstick for a troll? Did he really? Ah, what's with that kid? Dobra knock. Love you, Misha. I don't know what I'm going to do about the calcium. I'm taking um, Lipitor and baby aspirin now. So, uh, I don't know. Maybe a stent. If it's that bad, I'll find out more tomorrow. Good night, Misha. Oh, I thought it meant I love you. Dobronok in Polish means good night, everybody. <laughs> Lenny's Broccol Broccolini's a fantasy, but Misha's real life. She's mine. <laughs> Misha Brokolinski. Yeah, but I doctor's orders on the Lipitor. Thanks, Tom. Yeah. She's a beautiful Polish woman. Blonde hair and blue eyes. Yeah, they're horrible for it, baby. Yeah. Sucks. I got to take them now, but whatever. No, Misha's not packing heat. Yeah, my pronunciation on my Polish needs some, some work. Why'd you get arrested for stealing a puppy right out of an old lady's car? What would possess you to do that? Thanks, Tom. Old account, 8766. You want me to let you join? You got one minute. One minute for the old account, 8766. Hey, sorry to interrupt, Cat, man. I'm just driving right now, and it's... You're driving in the pitch dark? <laughs> Anyways, Love I you, Misha. I was the one asking about the 
balls dropping after PCT and stuff. I mean, if they were shriveled up before and after you did your PCT, which I did HCG and that shit's hanging low, it's probably working then, right? Show the fans. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, yeah, maybe I'll I'm be... not driving, but... <laughs> Well, theoretically, I guess, but... Uh, I don't care about being fertile. I just want to produce enough tests to, you know, make gains and... Strong well, how do you feel difference. like... Do you, yeah, I mean, well, do you feel good otherwise? Do you feel like... Do you have a good, like, handle on how... Like, I knew something was off when I went in for blood work. My tests, like yeah. I said, were super low, but... After, I mean, you well, should kind of know. Yeah. After my PCT, I feel like I might have developed some kind of, like, hypothyroidism because I'm like cold all the time and shit and that's like the biggest uh, sign of hypothyroidism is like cold intolerance yeah did you run trend no no just just some basic stuff but, uh, yeah could be I mean I get your blood work on that it could be a sign of that yeah so many I mean it's just I mean we're putting chemicals in our body they, they have you know Good, good effects and bad, unfortunately. So, yeah, for sure. But I think, yeah, I mean, nuts dropping like that, yeah, supposedly well, that's a good sign. One thing I got to say, the maniacs is, if you're going to experiment with SARMs, and if you're young, don't do Rad 140. That shit, it'll shut you down like a real steroid would. You know. Well, yeah, I tried it last spring. I got good gains, and then a day or two after I stopped, I got shut down. Then I went on a yeah. you know a cycle of tests, but and it negatively affects lipids too. So yeah, but I mean, if they if they're aware of all that and want to use it as part of something, it's great. Otherwise, it's going to put on some decent yeah. size. So. Anyway, we'll let you go, I'll man. Give the H. All right. All right, man. Well, I think I'm going to sign out, and I'll keep you guys posted on everything. Hopefully, I get good news in the heart. Like I said, I don't have any chest pain or shortness of breath, but, you know, it's a lot of plaque in there, so. <laughs> no. Did I see the clip of Jay when he thought that he ended the live stream, but he was in unfiltered conversation with his mom? No, but I bet that was pretty funny. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, guys, have a good night. That's pretty funny about Jay. And maybe a video tomorrow if I get good news, bad news, indifferent. I'm going to keep you guys posted because I, I value your input. Thanks. Thanks for the well wishes, the prayers, everything. And have a good night.